Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy if you are new and as always I'm not the it girl. I'm not that girl. I'm the girl and you can be her too if you join my team. Okay, so welcome to the vlog. This is part two of my unplanned failed solo golden birthday trip to California. So I didn't do an intro in part one but I just wanted to come on here really quickly and explain maybe a few things. Um, I'm gonna talk about the very end like what I liked about the trip and like all of that and how great it was. I already have something like that like on TikTok but I don't have anything on here. But I just wanted to explain like welcome I guess. Um, here we go. If you haven't seen part one basically this was like a trip that I had planned since like July of 2021. It was supposed to be like 10 like a lot of people and then it just trickled down to where it ended up literally being just three. Um, and then it ended up to like not even being them at all. Like I ended up there like literally by myself. So you probably heard that in the TikTok intro, but yeah, so that's pretty much what happened. That's what's going on in this vlog. But one thing's for sure, I was not phased. We kept prevailing. We just was like, whatever, we're gonna make the best of the trip. We're gonna do the best we can. Part one, like I said, is already up. This will be like part two and just like the final part. I just made it just one long vlog instead of like putting it to two parts. So quick update, this is how we look this morning. Yeah, they're bed bugs. They're red bugs. Happy birthday. My birthday morning. I gotta go because at first I was like, I'm not gonna go. Before I even saw my face, I said I wasn't gonna go to the thing, but I need to go to the sunrise. I need to go. I got a Sprite downstairs. I mean, not downstairs. I got a Sprite in here. Like, this is crazy. This is my birthday morning. And I'm just gonna put the fucking bed bugs so. Okay. Anyway, so. I might, I might come back tomorrow and try and see if it's not going to be foggy. It was supposed to be so nice. You know, my birthday. I'm over. Not only do I not get to see the sunrise, which would be completely fine. You know, had this everything else not happened to me today. Yeah, they're like almost the same size now. And my left one. Is here. And I can tell because when I look, like I can see it. Like, see the bump when I just look ahead, like see it. My arms are killing me. Yeah, there's these huge spots on my arms and my back and my other arm. Right now they're about to give me like some cocktail. Well, normally I got a cocktail. They're about to give me a steroid shot and a steroid by pill because they're like really jam packed. I wanted my IV, but it's fine. After this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have yoga at 10.30. I might make it in time, we'll see. It's only 9.09 right now. So we might have 9.10. So we might have some time, we'll see. Okay guys, what is up? Um, I don't even remember the last time I've talked to you and that just sucks because it's like, <sighs> whatever. So anyways, um, I'm in my new hotel as you can see. Aloft is probably my favorite hotel of like, all hotels because it's not super expensive but you're still like how do i say it you're still able to get like a nice experience but nothing like crazy um expensive so anyways that's where i am right now it's now like three something i think 320 all my plans obviously as you know have to keep going to fail today so like i woke up swelling i go to the sunrise it was fogged as you could see couldn't see the sunrise like it's at the same time I was like i got up so early for no reason I actually make it out of the ER and they gave me a shot of like took two steroids and a shot of I want to say it was just Benadryl but I know Benadryl for sure um since I wasn't able to get the IV that I got before they gave me the shot uh then of course I start falling asleep getting sleepy I'm sleeping almost everywhere I get to the beach I still was going to be able to go to beach yoga the way they had it added to my calendar ended up going to the wrong place long story short and it was like an hour walk away from where I was supposed to be I could take another lift that's gonna put me like at 12 13 dollars which i mean that's not expensive so like okay like f it i'm gonna do it mm, no that the problem then was because i would have missed it but so i went back to the hotel the original hotel to get my luggage tell them about what happened to me went to mcdonald's you know because it was next door and got me just it was free medium for a friday and a large drink came here luckily was able to check into the room and i came in and i crashed i'm up it's three something I need to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the 
day and night like trying to make up the most of it. it's my birthday so i'm gonna have to try to go to the yoga tomorrow my hollywood hike is now tomorrow like normally i'd be going to getting ready to go to that it's just this isn't how i planned it and i'm not like upset i had like no like official plans really for my birthday but the point is like i feel like i do this all the time i'm trying to get hype i'm trying to do this I'm trying to do that so this whole trip has been something very much something so i'm good i got my freaking like wristband on my face is going like my eyes and stuff they're going down like a little bit uh, i can't really speak my arm i think it kind of is in my back but one thing's for sure the don't jinx it my itching has been working so that's also good too i haven't like eaten yet either that's the other thing like do i go eat you know there's more food there's a lot of food options around me which is nice I so badly need a mimosa. Yeah, I need a mimosa. I have not had a mimosa. I don't want a mimosa. Let me check this weather really quickly. It's like cloudy and 61 degrees. Not the vibe. Not the vibe at all. Hi, I was on my way to you, but I wanted to know if you guys still serve breakfast right now. Oh, right now? Yes. Right now, it's closed 4 o'clock. The breakfast closed at 4? Oh, okay. Yeah, night, night to 4. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I saw 4.45. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Just want breakfast, so I guess I'm just gonna walk to a hop. Alright, let me get dressed. How it looks outside. So, yeah. It's kind of cold. I opened the patio to show my... I said, like, the pier and stuff is nice at nighttime, but it's freaking cold, y'all. So tomorrow, me and Janaea... Let me see if she'll answer the phone right now. We're gonna have to literally jam-pack our day tomorrow. <laughs> she didn't answer i'm gonna call my cousin back grace and she called me when i was in the car i was like passed out in the car i've been lugging or lugging lugging whatever carrying this towel around just because my tanita you know for a beach but i have not got a chance to sit at a beach yet which is what's upsetting me the most because i really just want to sit at a beach i'm glad the yoga studio though is inside because it's cold as much as I've been wanting to do beach yoga, which I'm gonna have, sorry about the lighting, I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it also be better out. I also need to book our hotel for tomorrow, which will be here, but I need to book it. I'm upset because now I feel like my first two days when it was, like yesterday, it still could get a little chilly, but it wasn't bad. I could still could have sat like on the beach or whatever and stuff. Like I feel like I've messed that up now because now I've literally, should have used my first two days to my advantage. But at the end of the day, like I still got to come. And one thing I like about when I go on two trips in certain places, um, like, and I don't get to really do everything, I like it though low key because then it motivates me to want to come back to that place later. And just be like, you know what, in a mindset that, so what, like I didn't get to do everything I wanted, but it's gonna happen. Okay, editing Kennedy here. I want to stop in really quickly and discuss what all happened in the clip here okay so at this point right now y'all remember if you watched so if you watched part one you knew i was saying that one of my friends was coming in and then i had a friend who already stayed there i was supposed to meet up with her and i was telling her all day about like you know updating her on my day like we were supposed to go to brunch that morning and then like for dinner or drinks that night because it's my birthday i was texting her hadn't heard anything back so i went ahead and just booked that yoga class because we're only like at like seven so i'm like okay i'll just go to that real quick at seven and i still have time to go to dinner and stuff at night and i did that and when i looked at like her story i guess she still forgot to take me for close friends she had on their time for like drinks or whatever and so she went out for drinks with her friends or whatever and stuff but i didn't hear from her again the whole rest of the night so i was like okay whatever so that is why i went ahead and did this yoga class now and stuff and there's that So when I was eating at IHOP, the reason I wasn't talking to you guys is because my fave called me and told me, well, he texted me happy birthday and I was like, oh my God, thank you for remembering. And he was like, yeah, I have it saved in my phone. I was like, oh, you got it saved in my phone. I called him. And I talked to him for a minute. He's in Texas right now for like a couple of months. So I'm going to plan to go see him when I 
get back which like i've already seen them but anyways so that was nice and i almost forgot i thought yoga was at 5 15 instead of 6 15 and she was saying like be there like at five at six in my mind five to make sure that like you can get all your stuff in and like sign the like waivers and stuff oh yeah i was like oh, i gotta hurry up and leave no i don't it's literally i forgot it's actually at 6 15 it's 502 right now so i'll probably leave in a little bit because it's feeling a little bit nicer out so i still kind of want to stay on the beach for like a little like, like a little bit i want a sunday kind of love focus Okay, so I'm heading off to yoga. I want to show you guys my set that I'm about to wear. I didn't even show you guys my outfit at all today, which it wasn't an outfit. This was the main outfit, but I just had layers on over it. So this is my little lemon. I want to say this is a free to be top. I'll have to show it to you. Here are the matching bottoms. These are the Wonder Trains. Yes, and look at my band-aid for my sticker. I mean, for my shot. And then this is how the back looks with the bra. But yeah, so this is what we're wearing in yoga which i'm super excited for yeah you guys so um i need to put some stuff on my lips but i'm not coming to put my mask like right back on to me before i start yoga i'll put it on put my phone i do not disturb just really like i was saying earlier taking in the energy taking in the vibes don't mind my freaking ash um and enjoying the space that i'm oh and enjoying the space that i'm in and just feeling comfortable and just trying to be as calm and be as calm and present as I can on this 25th birthday. But I'm gonna get some still shots in my outfit real quick to make a cute montage, and I'll talk to y'all later. But I am, it's 5:46, so y'all need to call my Uber like right now. To be honest, I think my still shots came out ass. I'm not even gonna hold you. But let me call this Uber and put my sweatshirt on my phone. It's charging at the moment. Well, I don't take Uber. I'm a lot. I take Lyft. But it's literally only $12 to get to the beach. And this yoga studio is actually on the beach. So that's where we're going to head. Let me put my, all my sweatshirts on. I have only two and also a shirt. I definitely would say I, one thing I would say so far about the trip I wish I would have rented a car, maybe. I, it was not in the budget, but wish I would have rented a car. Then I'm going to have a better chance of, like, driving around and just seeing more stuff. Like I did in D.C. And then also in D.C., I stayed downtown in D.C. too. So I was able to take, like, subways and city buses, whereas here, yeah, I didn't do that. Um, I wasn't thinking I should have done that. This place where I'm right at right now, would have been best to stay here the first two days but the only thing was i didn't it was like super expensive i'm not about to do this this is my merch my defensive back hoodie I'm like I'm not a kid but yeah I'm 17 so <laughs> I take it you're older I guess yeah, man, quite a bit older. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah people think me and my sister are twins we're not really? okay. no <laughs> yeah well nice meeting you, you. Sure you have a great day? yes
I turned yeah. 50, so it's my golden birthday. Yeah, so, what so you came here for your 20th. The way I've chosen to spend my birthday to a lot of people probably seems lame. You know, like I'm out here, I'm chilling, I'm not out partying, I'm not at clubs. I'm talking about going to yoga and sitting and watching sunsets. Like the girls that get it, get it. Okay, like first of all, I'm never um I've never been a partier person. That's just not my vibe. Like I'm it's not me. But at the same time, I like a good brunch. I like a good ocean view. I like some yoga. I want to do things that are healing, some things that are changing my life, things that are making me better. What benefit do I get from going out in a club, having a section when COVID happens? But even if it wasn't COVID, with a freaking sign, you can't even talk as loud. No offense to people that choose to live their life that way. That's not what I'm saying at all. But it's just like, like I'm supposed to be like, oh, like, so what'd you do so far for your birthday? I'm like, okay, I'll then I'll get copyrighted but because of the music in the background. Time to pour my drink. I got my champagne and OJ. I did get food. I door dashed. It was a lot that happened tonight. Uh, <laughs> after I went to the beach, yeah, with the whole Uber list. Yeah. Do I even need OJ? Which I haven't even tried champagne by itself yet. Yeah. I really don't, but happy golden twenty fifth birthday, KB. Mm. It's a little bit too much orange juice. <laughs> I love, I got two of these bottles actually. The crazy thing is, editing Kennedy again, if it's not obvious, um, I put in the wrong hotel. So after I, so after I went to yoga, um, the sun was still setting. So I ran down to the beach, like, at, cause it was at the, you know, it was on the beach, ran down to the bottom of the beach. And I just like, it felt so nice. It was short. So I was kind of at the edge of the water and then like the shore would like wash up like the waves. Girl, I got so freaking wet. So I'm like soaking wet. I get in the, my finally get an Uber. I'm in the car. It took me like 30 minutes to get to my hotel. I'm like, I'm 10 minutes away. Why it's taking so long? But I've been really focused on like the vibes this whole trip, like just enjoying the moment and just like staying calm and not freaking myself out. That's because I put in the bed bug hotel, not the correct hotel that I was staying at now. I was like, are you kidding me? At this point, my cards, y'all, are like not working. And I'm like, what is going on? So it wouldn't let me change, wouldn't even let me change in the Lyft app addresses so the man had to let me out at just this uh, gas station on the corner i'm at the gas station it's a circus because the gas station's out of gas and they're only taking cash so people are just like complaining it's just a lot happening then the clip is like this that home like the homeless man is like hitting on me which it has nothing to do with him like being homeless but it does also speak more to like sir he i was like i don't live here or whatever and he was like oh it's fine i can come to you how are you gonna come to me like it's just it's a just stop like i don't like men talking um, it takes me an hour and 20 minutes to get a new lift. Hour and 20 minutes, you guys. Hour and 20 minutes. Finally get one. Luckily, I was like so blessed because I ended up getting the lady who was singing to me. I loved that so much. She was so sweet. We had a really nice talk. And she was like, why are you here by yourself? Like, where are your friends? Like, what's going on? And I'm like, yeah, I know. So she was really sweet. And we had a really nice talk. And that was the first time someone sang happy birthday to me. And like, I don't know. Like, it made me want to cry. So I really did love it. So I everything was closed by the time i got back it took me like two hours i think to get back home by the time i officially got back to the um hotel i just had to door dash just like burger place <laughs> that was my birthday dinner but um yeah it, it was a good night though but i just want to explain from there to there i was really focused on like not speaking on super negative stuff the whole trip so that's probably why like if it happened i was over it and i just moved on <laughs> i just didn't continue i'm about to go to bed though actually you guys i'm tired it's literally 12 21 so i'm about to take my meds i was gonna go to watch the sunrise tomorrow but and i was calling because originally my friend was supposed to come here today and so we were gonna get like a different room but i'm in just in a uh just a one bedroom 
one bed you know what i mean sorry okay. and i was trying to see if i was able to extend my stay till tomorrow okay thank you you're welcome of course bye okay shut up now okay we heard that mom uh -huh. well i'm glad she said it was cheaper to do it the way i'm doing it so. yeah yeah Okay, you guys, Anthony Kennedy is back. So I know you guys probably heard me clearly like talking about like my room, like asking, can I extend my room, my one side, like my one bed, whatever. So this morning, I that morning, you know, I woke up and I was waiting because I was trying to not oversleep because just, because my friend was just coming to my room and then we were gonna, you know, just sort out getting a room later. And I saw a text and she just like basically she just wasn't coming and i'm like wait what so at that point i was like well let me hurry up and secure my room so i don't have to move rooms again i'm already traumatized from the last hotel with the bed bugs so um that was me extending my room because she wasn't coming so at this moment between a girl sending me up um and then she the the girl who lived there she texted me that morning saturday morning and just like oh sorry i went out with my friend last night we had drinks her roommate last night we had drinks and then we went to um and then i came back home i just crashed i'm just like okay whatever like i have nothing to say so like i never said i didn't say anything back um she's like i can see you din dinner suggestions for where you can go to dinner tonight i'm like so we're not going to dinner so i was over it anyways so this is how at this moment saturday morning is how this trip became an official unplanned solo like trip because like i said originally i was supposed to go with like my whole group of friends from my whole group of friends to just those two and one flying in and so it just was yeah so this is how at this moment this is when it becomes a solo trip but um i can speak more on like how i liked it later but that's just one moment to update to where we are like right now saturday morning because i wasn't speaking too much stuff like when i was on like when i was vlogging because i was really trying to focus on the moment and not let my emotions affect like me enjoying where i was at so yes and i didn't go to yoga that day i was drained i just slept in <laughs> What is up you guys i'm officially like up i've been honestly i've been up i've just been laying in bed like it's now 119 we have our hike tonight at four and then i'm gonna go get brunch right now um at this like ocean beach like view place which will be nice i don't know what the hell i'm gonna wear the weather should be fine if i for me to wear my skirt like it should be fine like that the original outfit that i have planned because i'm gonna be hiking going up in the yeah, look, it's 73 degrees outside. Go ahead and put these lashes on, the ones I had on the other day. I'm terrible about putting lashes on already in general, and then I don't even have my tweezers. I lost them, so I'm going to ignore that. I don't know if this is probably illegal. I don't really care. But if you know me from the Kansas City Girl Vlogs, game day NFL Sundays, I love mimosas, so I filled the rest of my champagne in here. We're going to be drinking that, and I got to drink this one. Okay. So oh, my phone's still charging a little bit. Where's it? There we are. We're on 61. It needs to be a lot more than that. I need to put my bag together. I got lotion. I have on my swimsuit bottoms already. You know. God, these braids keep hitting my glasses. This is the champagne I use. I'm pretty sure I showed y'all last night, but yeah, that's the champagne I'm using. One thing about me, if it's on my chest, I'ma get it off me. I'm packing my iPad. I like to have my iPad on me because it's like a laptop, but it's not. And also, I can charge my phone on here. So, I always bring it. So, that's one of the reasons I upgraded to the iPad Air 4, I think is the one I have. I got it this year. No, I got it last August. Because it has a C port. So, I just use my C port charger and it, you know, charges all my stuff. I can plug in hard drives and edit on here just like my laptop. So, that's why I got this one and it has like my little keyboard. But it also can come off if I don't want to take my keyboard everywhere. But I'm gonna take it everywhere. And then my Apple Pencil is just in my bag because it sometimes falls off like from the ma magnetic when I pull it out of stuff. And I ain't trying to lose that Apple Pencil. I paid like 130 for that hoe. I literally just stuffed that freaking bag. Six. Gosh, let me get to 70%. But like I said, my laptop, I mean my iPad, I can always charge my phone on it. I really need to get going because it's 150 and I want to kind of sit down and enjoy my brunch and then go hike at four, which means I'm probably gonna have to leave. I need to plan that out. This trip like literally turned into a solo trip. Like it, like it originally wasn't even supposed to actually be a full blown solo trip because like I had a friend that lived here and then, you know, but yeah, it's a solo trip now. So that's great. But I told me not to wear my Birkenstocks on the hike. I wanted to, but 
I'm kind of upset because these are the only decent shoes I have. So I need to buy some more. My brother bought me the, I'm super excited about them. They're uh, Gunna's shoes, Gunna's, like they're Pumas, but Gunna's edition. You know, Gunna the rapper. <laughs> Shut up, Kennedy. Anyways, and so I really like them. They're neutrals. I love neutrals and nudes and stuff, and it goes with like a lot of stuff. But I got these Steve Mattins that are like the Balenciagas. I got those, so. I mean, I got those tennis shoes now, but I definitely wasn't hiking in them hoes. The girl, you lost your mind. So I'm gonna wear these. I may not know right where you're going, but I do, I do, I do. That has been like one of my theme songs this whole trip. I did my love for you, you show my love for you. I'm gonna go to this brunch spot. I can drink it all. Guys, I gotta take in these views here. So I'm at this place. I don't know exactly what it's called, but you guys, I think I'm so long living in California. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It is beautiful here. The water, like, yeah, I definitely will be back super soon. But let me show you the views of where I'm at. So, this is what I see while I eat. Like, look at the views. So right now it's literally, let me zoom out. Right now it's 2.24, I have my hike at four, so I'm gonna eat. I might get to go down to the beach just for a little while, which will be nice. Um, and then I need to also figure out which time I need to leave to head to my hike. How I'll try to list everywhere I go down below. One thing for sure, I really wish I was able to bring my tripod because I just didn't have time to put it in my suitcase because it was left in Dallas and it all flew in from Kansas City. So I wish I was able to bring my tripod so I could take pictures and stuff, but it just feels really nice out. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, enjoy. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you. So here's the food. Just so you know, I'm very pissed off right now. Girl, I'm late. Yes, yeah, so I gotta try to find them up here. It's beautiful up here, though. There. Girl, yeah, he went, oh, girl. It feels beautiful up here, too. So, they're probably pretty up here. Oh, let me turn my walking on. I think I have hiking. So I'm making my way to the top. I still haven't met my group yet. <laughs> I was at the spot that you just saw me at and the lady was like finally let me talk and she was a different tour group and she was like yeah well him and his group went this way I see them all the way like at the top of this hill which still isn't the top so I'm headed up there now to try to meet with them like it's not bad it's just if I wish I didn't have my backpack but I need it because I'm able to charge my stuff you know it's just heavy as heck. And I shouldn't have packed the extra sweat extra sweatshirt, but I didn't know if I'd be at the beach tonight and it'd be kind of cold. But this is where I am now. Okay. You can see it like look how high up it is, you guys. Like it's way up there. I have a long way to go. And I really was debating on turning around and going back and just being like, forget it. But no, I'm gonna push myself because you know why not? It's worth it. I am getting a little nervous because I'm seeing it's two trails again. Like it cuts off two ways and I don't know which way he went. Like I said, at this part, I'm out of service. 
I'm figuring it out. I'm making the best of all my experiences here. That's all I can wish and hope for. It's all I can do. And that's what I'm going to do all 2022, all the year that I'm aged. I'm 25, just doing stuff, you know, to better myself. I know you can't really see me right now. I'm just learning to go with the flow in a positive and healthy way and a way that's mature. But also at the same time, giving myself grace when I can and also being comfortable being with just me being alone. You know, because like I wouldn't be comfortable normally being alone like this. I'd be very paranoid, very nervous. That. But I'm gonna do what I can. I'm just assuming they went this way. See, like it's that way or it's this way. And I'm pretty sure they went this way. Like, I feel like they would have went that way. Let's go this way. And if I never meet up with the group, that's okay. I'm in control. I can control like my environment. I can control my safety by being alert. And I'm gonna be fine, you know? Normally I'd have like a full blown panic attack by now. Cause like there's other people up here, but I've been running into spots where it's not people like right now at the exact moment. And I'd be freaking out. Like I'm just, I've been watching a lot of movies, which is kind of funny. Oh, you can see me a little better now. But normally because like, I'm by myself like this in these areas, like a family's coming right now and a dog. I would have a whole panic attack. Like I get like hyperventilating, getting worried, and, like nervous, you know, because I'd be like, oh my God, like I'm by myself. Someone's gonna, you know, abduct me. But I've been watching a lot of like movies with like women are like CIAs, like super badass, and, like Wonder Woman type shit. <laughs> and it's to make me feel a little bit better. I definitely wanna learn how to do like, what type of boxing is it? Like, learn how to fight, you know? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get the view, but I feel like on camera, you just can't really see it. Yeah, I've just been watching real badass stuff and like women like fighting and stuff, you know? So like, I'm really learning how your day going. So I'm supposed to meet up with this dude today. Like, how's your day going? I don't know, you tell me. You tell me. Okay. Okay, his text messages are green. His text messages are green. You ain't got no iPhone. I don't know about that, babes. Might not be able to meet up. <laughs> Might not be able to link, honey. But I think there's so much to do in LA. More like nature vibes and stuff. That like, I'd be okay living here alone. But this has been a very good like healing experience, you know? Going to a big city by yourself. <laughs> Low on funds and your friend's not showing up. Is that considered like set up or ditched? One of those. Oh, there's a lady behind me. I don't know, she looks like she can Taekwondo and a little fit. She might be trying to abduct me and I had to be ready to put on my black card. You know, like my black belt, but bitch, I'm black, black. Not karate, you know what I'm saying? My group way up there, at the top of the hill. I don't think you can even see them. They're like way up there. I think that's where my group is, you guys. Oh, so we made it to the bottom of the hill, guys. And I'm going to the Venice in Santa Monica Pier, but like Venice, basically, I think, tonight. As you can see, I'm at the bottom of the hill now. It's just like houses and stuff out here. I'm just trying to get to a good enough spot so I'm able to um, call my lift, basically, to go back. It cost me $50 to get out here and it's like 40 something to go back. So I just kind of want to get into a different area. Like I'm just like in a neighborhood right now. Plus it's not bad walking. Oh, the lighting is bad now. I'll just stop here in this corner. But I don't want to stop in front of these people's houses because the last thing I need is someone calling the cops on me. You know, like this black girl just in here with a backpack. You know, what happened? Oh boy in Florida. Like it's not it. Not the move. But this is a blue state. That we do love. That we do love. I believe it's a blue state. I'm like nearly 100% sure. Funny thing is like LA is full of like influencers and like vloggers so no one thinks I'm weird for vlogging. I don't even feel weird vlogging back in Texas either. I don't know if it's heavy vlogger life there in Texas but I don't feel awkward doing it though. I hate that I really missed my whole hike but I got to do it by myself so that was nice. I like that Range Rover. Okay, you guys, Editing Kennedy is here again with another little update. So right there you saw like I just was walking in the neighborhoods after I just finished my Hollywood hike. And from that point, I did go meet up with someone. And so because of like how expensive it was gonna cost me, like I think like $100 to get back 
to Manhattan Beach just to pay more money to go to Santa Monica. Like, it was just, he was like, no, don't do that. Like, just come to the beach. So, um, I left straight from there, went to Santa Monica. Uh, so we got to Santa Monica Pier, got to see all of that. It was nighttime, it was cool. I was really ready to go home. The vibes really wasn't it, and I also just ready to go home. So, it took me like another like hour 40 minutes to be able to get a lift or whatever and stuff and so i finally like went home i took a shower and i went to bed y'all like i was tired but i really enjoyed myself and at the end of the trip i will talk about that a little bit more i had a minor breakdown because i couldn't find my fanny pack unzip my suitcase was looking at my backpack it was behind my backpack i moved my backpack to record for you guys to be aesthetic and put stuff in it and yeah it was back there so i'm gonna go it's the shuttle comes every 30 minutes at 709 my flight leaves boards at 8 13 so i think i'm gonna have to take a lift to the hotel i mean the airport because i feel like if i try to wait till 7 30 um i'll end up Okay, let me find out where I'm even going once I get to LAX because you know, it's huge. Terminal 2, 23A. Terminal 2. Okay, that's not bad. It's only eleven dollars. I can do that. And I get there by seven twenty-two. Versus even if I get on the plane, get on the shuttle by seven thirty, like it's no guarantee and stuff. So let's head downstairs. And I actually probably won't vlog until like way later because I kind of gotta move fast. So yeah, bye. Okay, well if you're here, that means you made it to the end of the vlog, guys. So, honestly, I just wanted to talk about this at the end. So, like, if people don't really care, then they don't have to, like, watch this part. Honestly, seriously, this was a very amazing experience for me. Um, for, like, multiple reasons. Like, I already explained if you're from TikTok. Like, I had a really rough start to my year of 2022. Like, mo like especially, like, mentally and just everything going on. I was proud of myself because every year like something happens i say i'm gonna do something for my birthday something happens and i don't do it for whatever reason and this year i said this is gonna happen my golden birthday too i wanted it to be very special i wanted it to be like a grown woman thing like i wanted to do grown woman shit like i wanted it to be if you watch part one then you already know like i said like i wanted this year things i did this year on my birthday to represent the kind of woman i want to be from now and like going forward like malibu is like the perfect place we go to malibu it still gives you that grown woman vibes and like everything like that um so that's why i picked malibu in case you're wondering but as for how everything like went down and stuff and maybe i'll do a separate video on this just kind of explaining if you ever want to do a solo trip or anything like that i would say like maybe because i was in the country is why i felt kind of safe and i wasn't scared and also i was in california it's a very big place so a lot of places are like super busy and stuff i don't know but i just want to say that a couple of like revelations that i discovered on this trip was one like the ability to keep myself safe like i felt like i really helped the inner child in me a little bit um i really liked like just sitting there and like really seeing nature like people talk about that all the time but like i'm from like kansas city missouri so like the only nature is literally just like freaking trees you know what i'm saying so there isn't like something like really seeing like water and like sand or if i lived in like colorado like the mountains you know things like that so sitting there i felt this really weird like bliss this really weird like safeness like and like comfort when i was there from like sitting there I had the breakfast at the beach that was just beautiful to the hike was another beautiful one and I don't know I just had and then the yoga oh my god the yoga studio was nice the people were so nice like not the people who worked there the people who worked there were nice but I'm talking about the people who were in the class were super nice um and it's so pretty because you have the view of the sun setting it was so nice and then I went down to the water and like it was like I want to do like happy tears because it really it honestly just felt so good and like the thing that I realized at the end of the trip like 
I felt like God needed it to be a solo trip for me because he needed me to see that I can keep myself safe. I hadn't been working because I had took a leave of absence for, leave of absence from work because I was literally like my like I, my mental health was just really being affected for, like I said at the beginning of the year especially like after my grandpa passed away like I just went downhill which was in the end of January so but luckily I had some money because I already had put in vacation time all my vacation hours for my trip so I got money sent but the point was I didn't have a huge budget I roll with the punches I had to find a hotel or find somewhere to stay when I was in LAX hotel, LAX airport. I didn't let my anxiety or my fear or my just like PTSD, which is very, PT, listen, if you got PTSD, you know, like you got that for a reason, like to be high alert. The difference was like, I didn't let it overpower me not having fun, you know? So I was just, I really did. And then, oh, I forgot when I went on the, on the yacht to go like watch the whales and the dolphins like it just one thing i have to say is just it was a really blessing for me do i hate how it ended up being by myself and how i felt about the whole things that happened with my friends yeah i did but and like like i said <laughs> i just was so proud of myself i taught myself something a little different and one of the things i'll say that i took away from this trip that i need to apply continue to apply to all parts of my lives lives all parts of my life is enjoying the moment of where I'm at enjoying the moment of where I'm at and doing the best I can where I'm at and it might sound confusing like okay yeah I do live in the moment like no like when I was there I was um trying to figure out like okay like what am I gonna do when I get back to Dallas and everything and I just told my dad I was like I'm not worrying about that right now because I can't fix that situation right now like I'm gonna focus on making sure right now is the best and like I said that people say that stuff all the time like whatever but that was truly my mission and truly my goal is like when I'm here I am only focused on making the best of while I'm here I'm not worried about what's happening back home I'm not worried about like my real estate school like I'm not worried about none of that I'm focused on this right here so that's something that I want to continue to to try with my own life every day because I feel like I always talk about like getting 1% better every day living one day at a time you know doing one day at a time like no like you can say that all you want Kennedy but you got to actually apply that shit so anyway like I said I wanted to, maybe I'll do a separate video on this because this is something that I'm like really like kind of like passionate about y'all like ugh, it was a great experience I promise but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed um I hope you know it was insightful um if you ever have any questions let me know but I really showed myself a different side of Kennedy than I ever have experienced. And that's something I always tell people when I say I'm afraid of being alone. Um, I don't mean alone as in like not married aspect or things like that. When I say I'm afraid of being alone, I'm afraid of being alone because of like safety reasons. And so for me to be there and to keep myself safe and not just keep myself safe, safe as in nothing happened, but to keep myself mentally safe. Like I was okay the whole time. That was crazy. Your girl went on a whole hike by herself. I only walked down the street by myself you know what i'm saying so and that was like an hour like a little over i think an hour hike but it was a really great experience i highly recommend um it doesn't have to be anything like of course that extreme you ain't gotta go like on a whole trip by yourself but just the nature i don't know how i even explain it it was very eye-opening and i want to thank god and thank myself for working together honey okay because he gave me what I needed and I just learned something so amazing and even now as I'm editing this I'm like damn like this was amazing like it really was a good trip and I need to remember that and continue I will say I need to go back though like in the summertime to California um I think me and my sister and I were talking about going to San Francisco next but anyways I need to just go bottom line when it's like summertime because although it was like so cold it was like 60 70 degrees it was not nice enough to wear bikinis okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i have more vlogs coming up the next vlog is a fitness gym vlog so we're going to the gym so thank you guys love you so much bye bye like i was at it i was crooked